conjunction with 2013, the year of Italian culture in the United States, the Coral Gables Museum is presenting a series of exhibits, lectures, wine tastings, bike tours, Italian markets, and more. From the stunning Italy in Motion exhibition, focusing on Italian design modes of transportation to displays of contemporary architecture photographs and drawings, the museum invites you to celebrate everything Italian. The name Italy comes from the word Italia, meaning calf land, perhaps because the bull was a symbol of southern Italian tribes. Italy is approximately 116,400 square miles, including Sicily and Sardinia, which is slightly larger than the state of Arizona. Italy is one of the most crowded nations in Europe. Its population is estimated to reach over 60 million inhabitants. The capital of Italy is Rome, also known as the Eternal City, and is almost 3,000 years old. It has been the capital since 1871 and is home to the Dome of St. Peter's, the Sistine Chapel, the Coliseum, and the famous Trevi Fountain. Italy is said to have more masterpieces per square mile than any other country in the world. The Italian wolf is Italy's unofficial national animal and plays a large role in the legend of the founding of Rome. The author of Pinocchio or Pine Nut, Carlo Collodi, was Italian. Parmesan cheese originated in the area around Parma, Italy. Italians also created many other cheeses, including gorgonzola, mozzarella, provolone, and ricotta. No one knows when the pizza was invented, but the people of Naples made it popular. The University of Rome is one of the world's oldest universities and was founded by the Catholic Church in AD 1303, often called La Sapienza Knowledge the University of Rome is also Europe's largest university with 150,000 students. Vatican City is the only nation in the world that can lock its own gates at night. It has its own phone company, radio, TV stations, money and stamps. It even has its own army the historic Swiss Guard. At its height in AD 117, the Roman Empire stretched from Portugal in the west to Syria in the east, and from Britain in the north to the North African deserts across the Mediterranean. It covered 2.3 million miles, two-thirds the size of the United States and had a population of 120 million people. During the Middle Ages, Rome had perhaps no more than 13,000 residents. In Northern Italy, last names tend to end in I, while those from the South often end in O. The most common Italian surname is Russo. Italian is a Romance language descended from the vulgar Latin. The dialect spoken by the people living during the last years of the Roman Empire. Italian has more Latin words than 
any other Romance language, and its grammatical system remains similar to Latin. Latin is still the official language of the Vatican City in Rome. Over 50 million tourists a year visit Italy. Tourism is vital to Italy's economy and provides nearly 63% of Italy's national income. Italian Michelangelo di Lodovico Bonaro di Simone was once thought to have painted in somber shades, but after his frescoes on the Sistine Chapel were clean, it was discovered that he actually painted in bright colors, such as purples, greens, and pinks. Centuries of dirt and smoke from candles had toned down the bright colors. Some art historians argue that the restorers went too far in their cleaning efforts and removed the dark shadows Michelangelo intended. Known as the Three Fountains, Dante Alighieri, Francesco Petrarch, and Giovanni Boccaccio are arguably the three most famous Italian authors of all time. Dante's Divine Comedy, Divina Commedia, had tremendous influence on Italian literature and is considered the father of the Italian language. The Shroud of Turin is an ancient piece of linen cloth believed to bear the faint imprint of a male body, perhaps Jesus Christ, after he was killed. It has been in the Turin San Giovanni Cathedral for at least 420 years, while scientists have determined the shroud was made no early than the 1200. Others continue to debate when and how the shroud was created. Begun in 1560 for Cosimo de Medici, the Uffizi Gallery in Florence is one of the oldest museums in the world and contains famous work by Michelangelo, Botticelli and Da Vinci. Soccer is Italy's most popular sport and the famous San Siro Stadium in Milan holds 85,000 people. Italy has won the World Cup four times, 1934, 1938, 1982 and 2006, making the country's team second only to Brazil in numbers of wins. Italians claim to have taught the rest of Europe how to cook. Italy is responsible for introducing the word to ice cream via the Chinese coffee and fruit pies. In addition to Belgium and France, Italy also claims to have made the first French fries. The first Italian cookbook was written in 1474 by Bartolomeo Sicchi. The biggest holiday in Italy is Christmas. Many people celebrate Christmas Eve with a huge feast, often featuring seafood. The Christmas season lasts until Epiphany, January 6, the date when the three wise men are said to have reached Jesus' manger. The first violin appeared in Italy in the 1500s, probably from the workshop of Andrea Amati in Cremona. The city later became the home of Antonio Stradivari, the most famous of violin makers. Influenced in part by the French flag, 
the Italian flag has evolved over several hundred years. The flag is vertically divided into three equal sections of green, white, and red, representing hope, faith, and charity. Another interpretation is that the green represents the Italian landscape, white represents the snow-caped Alps, and red represents the bloodshed that brought about the independence of Italy. Venice, Italy is one of the world's most beautiful and unusual cities. It was founded over 1400 years ago on a collection of muddy islands in a wild and shallow lagoon. It has been sinking in the mud for centuries and is plagued by floods. The world's first operas were composed in Italy at the end of the 16th century. Opera reached the height of popularity in the 19th century when the works of Giacchino Rossini, Giacomo Puccini and Giuseppe Verdi became hugely popular. The late tenor Luciano Pavarotti is a national celebrity and Claudio Monteverdi is regarded as the father of the modern opera. The Leaning Tower of Pisa was built in 1173 and began to lean soon after, probably due to a poorly laid foundation. During World War II, the Nazis used it as a watchtower. After reconstruction efforts in 2008, engineers declare the tower would be stable for at least another 200 years.